As you can see behind me, we have the beautiful hair mosaic. This was discovered in 1971. It was discovered just within the town wall at a site called the Beaches. So in 1971, you might have been lucky enough to be one of those people that visited the hair mosaic when it was in situ at the Beaches site. Archaeologists at the site gave tours, they showed school children around, and uh, various people would have seen it. So this mosaic is actually within the living memory of people who still in, live in the town today, or certainly lived in the town in the 1970s. The survival of this mosaic is quite unusual. The site actually is subject to flooding and, and frost, and this damages mosaics um, at the site. The hair mosaic survives due to a strange um, sequence of events. In the Roman times, the owners of the property decided to upgrade the floor. So the hair mosaic was actually the floor of a triclinium, that's a Roman dining room. They decided to upgrade the dining room and install an underfloor heating system. They used a channeled hypercourse to do this. And on top of that channeled hypercourse, a brand new floor was laid. So you had a new um, mosaic floor laid on top. Over time, that floor fell apart but the, it actually saved the hair mosaic from um, complete destruction, as did the channeled hypercourse that was placed on top of it. If you look very closely at the center of the mosaic, you can see a black soot mark in the center that shows that the hypercourse was in use. So the hair mosaic was actually the redundant floor of this luxurious building, um, but miraculously survived due to this, um, this anti upgraded antiquity. So we're looking at a fourth century mosaic, upgraded um, in the mid fourth century. And uh, it's just, it's, it's amazing that it's actually survived. You can see the hair mosaic has lots of geometric patterns. You can see false perspective boxes. There are interlaced squares. And in the center, you focus on a beautiful image of a hair. Now the hair is unusual because usually Roman art depicts the hare as being chased by a hunting dog. It's usually in the figure of a prey. Here, the hare is at peace. It's nibbling on a little plant. And what's particularly special about this hare is that it's decorated with green glass along the back. So any light that would have hit the, the hare in the room would have caused it to um, twinkle and, and look really, really beautiful, causing the viewer's eye to, to focus on that particular central piece. What's really lovely is that in 1971, the council commissioned a replica mosaic in the centre of the town in Brewery Court. Over time, over 40, 50 years, um, mosaics tend not to survive particularly well. Um, the, the tesserae, the little um, square pieces, lift off the surface and eventually they decay. But the hair's got a, a special significance to people in Sirencester. So now we're, we're going to have a new replica mosaic, this hair mosaic. It celebrates the history, it celebrates the heritage, and it celebrates the importance of the Roman culture of the town, the Roman heritage um, that lies underneath the surface. Anywhere you walk in Sirencester, you're very often walking over a mosaic. Um, and we're very, very lucky to have not only the original, but also a replica that's there for everybody to see and enjoy. <laughs>